This is the entrance to the Syrian city of Ras Al Ain, and life is slowly returning to the city after a Turkish operation to clear terrorist groups from the area. The Turkish military says it's taking precautions to clear any threats left behind by the YPG terror group. Ismail is an opposition fighter originally from Ras Al Ain. He says he's returning eight years after being displaced and that he's happy to be back. I am the happiest man in the world. If I die today, it wouldn't be a problem. We're so happy for our city. The terrorists are gone. They brought people we don't recognize. They came from Qandil and from Iran. But thank God, they're gone now. This is the municipal building of the city of Ras Al Ain in northeast Syria. And behind me are the Free Syrian Army, the Syrian National Army, and the Turkish military dropping what is a symbolic flag of the Syrian revolution and the Turkish flag on the building one week after the city has been cleared from YPG terrorists. The flags hanging over the YPG's former headquarters is a sign that the city will be safe for civilians, according to Turkish military sources. Those who remained in the city during the operation say they're glad the YPG is gone. People were hurt by the YPG. They were taken to jail. They were extorted. They would come and take people to mandatory service. They took my son from the bakery. They would even take the girls and force them to join the military service. That the Turkish-led Operation Peace Spring will clear the border areas of all terror threats and allow Syrians to return to their homes. Obeidahito, TRT World. Ras Al Ain, Syria.